Welcome to this garden photography video. In this video I will be looking at the parts I've chosen for my upcoming PC build and explaining why I have chosen each part. This is the Zalman Z11 Plus Blue Edition PC case which I'll be using in my build. I've chosen this case because of its extensive cooling abilities uh, with two blue 120mm LED fans coming as standard, one in the top, one in the front as well as two 80mm exhausts on the side and a 120mm intake on the back uh, which I'll be replacing with my water cooler uh, more of that to follow. It also has the option to add a 120mm on the top and 120mm on the bottom it comes with dust filters on the power supply and the intake on the front which will be good for keeping my system clean and the airflow good uh, it also has a pretty awesome design uh, similar to the Alienware PC which I was looking at previously but it, it's a bit expensive. Okay, The motherboard I have gone with is the M5 A9 7 Pro from Asus. Uh, the reason I've gone for this board, uh, it took quite a lot of deliberation, uh, is because it offers a lot of expandability which I want from a board. Um, it has up to six SATA, six gigabit a second ports. It can take up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has two USB 3 and eight USB 2.0. And it also has Crossfire support. So, whatever I decide to upgrade, this board can handle it, saving me money down the line, um, which is always nice. Okay, up next is the power supply, 5 power supply. I decided to go with the 500 watt modular power supply from Sharkoon. Uh, it's about £50 at the moment. Um, onto the modular power supply because I don't like messy cables in my case. And it's got pretty decent expandability. Um, it's 500 watts which should be fine for my system as it is and I can always upgrade that later if I need to for fairly minimal cost. For my boot drive I've chosen the 120 gigabyte SSD from OCZ which runs at 6 gigabit a second SATA connection um, which is nice and fast uh, in comparison to my current laptop which is slow as anything. Um, it's pretty cheap compared to other 120 gigabyte drives on the market at about £60. Um, so hopefully I should see a large increase in speed from this. I'll be using it to install my OS and also programs such as Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and all my other big power hungry programs. For my just general storage drive, uh, I've gone with the Western Digital 2TB Caviar Black drive. Uh, it's a pretty quick drive, it's 7200 RPM. Um, this isn't actually going to be in my initial build because it is still quite expensive, it's about £80 and I don't quite have the budget for that uh, in the initial build so I'll be installing that at a later date. Uh, until then I'll just be using my SSD to store stuff or my external 2TB hard drive. Um, I'll probably be getting some more after that as well because I think I'll use up 2TB pretty quickly and I want some for backup. Um, other than that, the reviews online of it are pretty good. Um, it's a pretty reliable drive and hopefully it should do a good job. For my RAM I've gone pretty much all out and I'm going to get 16 gigabytes of Vengeance Corsair RAM at 1600 MHz so hopefully this should be nice and speedy. The main reason I'm building this PC is for Photoshop which I'll be doing quite a lot of for these tutorials and also editing all of these tutorials um, and I think this should be plenty of RAM to manage that. I was tempted to go with 32 gigabytes, but I thought it was a bit of overkill, and it's also 120 quid, which I don't really have, 
So hopefully this should be good. For my graphics card, I've gone with the Asus HD 6670. Um, it's a pretty budget card. It's 50 quid or 56 quid, but the features it has are pretty cool. It's got iFinity, so I can link up three monitors to it, and they turn into one really long monitor, which is awesome for games which have it enabled. So, for example, in Call of Duty, you can have a 180 degree field of vision, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it's got it's a one gigabyte um, card of GDDR5, so that should be nice and snappy for my graphics. Um, I'm not going to be doing that much gaming on this computer, but it, if I do do a little bit then hopefully this should be suffice. When I started researching this build, I was just going to leave it with stock cooler on my processor. But having thought about it and thought about what I'm going to be using this build for, and now that I've changed from the Shokun T9 to the Zalman Z11, which has all the good uh, temperature controls and everything, I thought I might as well go out and get this. Uh, it's £50 from Corsair, water cooling, all in one unit, so it shouldn't be too hard to fit. and. Um, that should hopefully keep my CPU temperatures nice and low. Okay, on to the processor. I've chosen the AMD Phenom 2 X4965 Black Edition uh, as the heart of my build. Um, some people say it's a bit of a budget processor. I mean, it is. It's only £70. But it's 3.4 gigahertz quad core, which I'm hoping to overclock to around about 4 gigahertz, um, which I think should be plenty for my system. I don't have a huge budget to spend, and certainly not enough to spend on an Intel card because they are very pricey. So this is what I'm going for. For my OS, I've gone for Windows 7 Professional. It was only really a choice between Professional and Ultimate, as Home Premium can only um, capacitate up to 8GB of RAM and I'm going for 16 and I want expandability, so this is what I've gone for. It's slightly cheaper than Ultimate. Um, I've gone for the 64 bit version, obviously, and um, 32 bit would be silly. Thank you for watching this Garden Photography video, I hope you found it interesting. Please leave a comment in the box below and please like and subscribe. Thanks!